Hello, my name is Allison Carmen, and welcome to my podcast, 10 Minutes to Less Suffering. And the name of today's podcast is Changing Our Life with Creative Causation. And the reason I bring this up today is that a lot of us find it hard to overcome our past. Things happen to us in life, and because of those things, we're not free to act differently in the future. And some people call it the reality of cause and effect. And I know last week I spoke about Dr. Thomas Harris' book, I'm Okay, You're Okay. And what was also interesting about the book is he discussed this idea of creative causation. And with this idea, Harris talks about billiard balls. If we hit a billiard ball and it strikes several more, which then are impelled to strike other billiard balls in turn, we must accept the demonstration of the chain sequence of cause and effect. He says there is an essential difference between a man and a billiard ball. Man through thought is able to look to the future. He is influenced by another type of causal order, which is creative causation. Man is a creature whose present is constantly being dominated by reference to the non-existent but nevertheless potent future. What is not influences what is. Something happens when a man thinks, which would not have occurred otherwise. He sees all of us having the potential for action, for hope, and for change. And why I bring this up today is I found the idea of creative causation to be so liberating because so many of us feel that everything that has happened in our lives defines us. And now we're living the effect and we are stuck in that cycle. And I am not saying that we don't have challenges. I'm not saying that bad things don't happen. But if we believe in this idea of creative causation, then we can use this moment to create something new tomorrow. And again, the reason why we don't do this is because our past weighs us down and we're afraid that uncertainty is not our friend, and we are just going to keep bringing the past into the future, and things are never going to be different. But when we see that there's this third thing out there, other than cause and effect, there's this part that we play, this creativeness, these dreams, these miracles, actions we can take in this moment to shift what's happening, to change the trajectory of our lives we start going on the playing field of life and we start accessing more that's possible. And yes, it has to do with letting go of the past, but it also has to do with not being afraid of uncertainty. Believing that we can play a role in changing our lives, that we have that power. And we can't argue that we don't have that power because the future doesn't exist. And we cannot be absolutely certain that our past will dictate the rest of our lives because there is no certainty. And if there is no certainty, that means we have hope that life could be different. But we need to participate in it through our creativity, through our mindset, and through our actions. The fact that nobody knows is the saving grace for a new life. The fact that nobody knows means that you can get a better job. The fact that nobody knows means you can find a way to go back to school. The fact that nobody knows means that opportunities can come your way and life can change. And where do we need to be and how do we need to think and what do we need to do to participate in that creative causation? And you know, if you can't get there, you could always use the maybe. Maybe I can do this. Maybe life can be different. Maybe the answer will come to me. Sometimes it's so hard because we feel like we're in such a rut and we can't see the path forward. I have felt this way so many times in my life. How is this going to work out? How am I going to make this happen? But then I hold on to the maybe and I just give it time and I come back to the moment and I take one step. One step. It could be a thought. It could be an action. It could be a letting go, whatever it is. But that's one step different than yesterday. One step different from the moment before. And when I do that, I create a new cause, which will lead to a new effect. 
through my own mind, through my own power, through my own creativity. And you can do the same. We are only stuck because we believe we're stuck. And I know sometimes the stories are so great and so grand and so believable. I so get that. But we cannot become a victim of our past because nobody is coming to lift us up. We must lift ourselves up as hard or as challenging as it might be in this moment. If you can't predict the future, that means things can change and maybe things can get better. And even though it might not look that way in this moment, nobody could steal your hope and nobody could steal your possibilities because nobody knows. And not knowing is our best friend. Allow yourself not to know because when you don't know, the past cannot own you. When you don't know, the future is an open playing field. And when you don't know, you can let the richness of the moment in. You can enjoy and be grateful for what you have, and you could use those as resources to start something new in your life. And don't worry if it goes so slow, it's not the pace. We never know when the miracle is going to come in. We never know when that opportunity is going to happen. But if we are ready, willing, and able, we will see it when it happens. And if we're ready, willing, and able, we will take that next step and we will open up to all opportunities that are possible in our lives. We must not let the past own us because then there is cause and effect. Then everything that happened in our past will continue in our future. And the only person that can get in the way of that phenomenon is us. When we decide to create creative causation through our thoughts, through our actions, through our heart opening up, through believing differently, and from knowing that nobody knows. And that's the place that we change our lives. Uncertainty is our best friend because if we don't know what's going to happen next, that means anything is possible. And when you start to believe that anything is possible, you think differently and you act differently. And if you can't get there, then use the maybe practice. I use that practice every day. I say my biggest fear, I can't do this. It's never going to change. It's never going to happen for me. Then I ask myself, are you absolutely certain, Allison, that fear statement is true? And I don't know. And because I don't know, maybe it's going to be different. And maybe I can make a difference. And maybe I could figure out one thing to do differently. And most importantly, maybe the past is over and maybe the past has nothing to do with this moment. And maybe the past has nothing to do with the future. And when you embrace that, you are free. And when you're free, you can let go of the past and you can embrace what is, and you can embrace all that's possible. So I love this idea of creative causation. I love this idea that we could impact what happens to us next. Can we control everything? No, but we can participate in change and we can participate in creating new things in our lives and we can participate in opening our hearts and we can participate in believing in ourselves and believing that we could have what we want and we can make the changes in our lives. And that is a step forward. I believe that you can do this. And I believe that you can leave the past behind you and you can create something new in your life. You wouldn't be dreaming it if it didn't exist someplace out in the universe. There's a reason why you feel the way you feel. And it's up to you to start connecting with that. I know life can be challenging. I know unexpected things happen. But at some point, we can leave the past behind and embrace the idea that may be the best is yet to come. Thank you for listening to this podcast today. If you'd like to get in touch with me, you could email me at allison at allisoncarmen.com. If you'd like to read my books, The Gift of Maybe or Year Without Men, they're available at all major bookstores and online retailers. And if you like this podcast, you can subscribe and leave a comment.